What is up? It's your boy in here bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we got a banger because we're gonna be talking about should you undercoat your Toyota Tacoma? Well, any truck, really, you get what I'm saying. So as you can see, I got a 2020 Toyota Tacoma. I really love this truck and I wanna do my very best to protect it at all costs. Now, one of the things that most people talk about is undercoat your vehicle. I'm not sure what you refer to it as, but I refer to it as in the box. When you are signing all the paperwork, that's called being in the box in the sales world. So when you're in the box with finance and they're asking you for aftermarket products, undercoat is like the only thing I actually suggested. Even then, I didn't get it on my truck because I thought I could get it for cheaper. I kind of regretted it because I found cheaper, obviously, like $2 cans at Walmart, but I have to spray them myself. I don't know what I can and can't spray. And after tons of research, it seems like it just gets even more complicated. So that's what we're talking about. Not only am I gonna talk about it, but you're gonna talk about it in the comment section down below. And that's gonna give us all some good experience. A lot of you guys have more experience than me in the car world. Again, I'm 21. This is my second car. First car never had any undercoating, but it also doesn't have any rusting yet. So I'm kind of skeptical. But without further ado, we're gonna get into talking about this, the pros and cons. All right, so let's start off with the benefits. What is so good about undercoating your vehicle? If you're not living somewhere where there's a lot of salt, a lot of snow, then you're good, you're fine but very few people actually have that luxury so i live in virginia where there's both um, i go to the beach there's a lot of sand salt i also live where it snows with that being said the pro is that you cover your undercarriage and everything that is exposed to salt isn't going to get hit by salt because you have that undercoating now why is that important you stop rust now that's one of my questions does it really stop rust all the way i i don't know maybe it prevents rust from happening sooner number two you get to keep your truck looking nice for longer if you don't have rust obviously it looks nicer and two it performs better over time you don't have to worry about getting a new truck in you know five to six years especially a notorious tacoma which had a recall for rust i haven't gotten to winter yet and uh, we're getting close so i'm a little worried but I hope I can make this video before and you guys can help me out a little bit. So the third benefit, resell. We love these trucks. I never want to let go of it. But if you do, well, then you can resell it at a better price. Let me explain. I don't know if you buy your cars new or used. I buy both. My Corolla, I bought it used. My Tacoma, I bought it new. But I also worked at a dealership. When I would sell Tacomas especially, everybody would be like, can you guys lift it up on a jack and let me see the undercarriage? Yeah, of course, buddy, not a problemo. I wasn't selling any messed up Tacoma, so I had no problem with it. But I never understood what he was talking about until I got him one that was all black underneath. And then I was like, "What? why is that all black? And he told me it had undercarriage protection, blah, blah, blah. So that got me a sale. So with that being said, if you protect your truck, and you have it taken care of underneath it'll help you in the long run make sure to bring that up though when you're turning in your car that would add to your value and don't let the dealership tell you no let's talk about the con pricing insulation and reliability pricing number one getting closer to winter everybody likes to jack up their prices and make it seem like it's some luxurious thing to have i mean i get it it kind of is but still bring the prices down a little bit right installation is no joke i've heard absolute horror stories somebody will buy the product they call themselves the weekend warrior they'll spray this truck up six months later they have more rust than they would have had they not done this now what am i talking about they might spray a spot cover it all up think it's all nice and dandy when you come to look at it you left a little gap salt water got in there and made babies and when those babies happen rust happens and when rust happens that is no bueno and that gets me into number three reliability not only did you waste your time your money but you missed that game on the weekend for your truck to be nice and pretty but now you got problems because now your frame is rust not only do you gotta now take it to another shop to spend more money and more time now you got a rusty truck nobody wants that so with that being said I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Let me know down below. A lot of you guys are older and wiser than me. So let me know what you guys think. Have you ever rust proofed your truck? What did you do? How did you do it? I'm interested in knowing. I appreciate every one of you guys. But with that being said, it's been your boy. I'm out of like an Audi. I'll see you tomorrow. Sing it tomorrow. Peace.